Coming up on the show, we have Devana's amazing bicycle kick, Bree Davies' crazy saves, and we also have the Matildas Trans Tasman rivalry with New Zealand. There are plenty of Aussies playing abroad at the moment. USA, Norway, Finland, Sweden. The results are coming up right now. Press pause to read them. Matildas played their first match against New Zealand behind closed doors. Game two was played in front of a near capacity crowd down in Canberra. They haven't actually lost to New Zealand uh, since 1994. I'm, I'm going to be honest, in the last couple of years, I think we've been a little bit lucky because uh, I think they're due to beat us. If I was to put my commentary hat on, I would have loved New Zealand to score and take the game away. It's such a shame that it had to be determined by penalties. Um, you know, it, it's a fantastic way to win, awful way to lose. My three standouts for the match were Steph Catley at left back. This kid, I tell you what, last September we played the US. She, uh, for me, she was our best player. She's really taken control of that left back position and really made it her own. I think, you know, it's hers to lose now. She's our captain of the future and, and I really see, I can really honestly say that. Secondly, can't go past Elise Kellen Knight, KK we call her. She's playing a much more attacking role for the Matildas and she's just killing it. Bree Davies has really stepped up for the Matildas at the moment. She's really just put her stamp on that number one position, which is going to be very interesting. Watching the European tour and to see who Hesterine is going to go for in that number one position. She had some awesome saves against New Zealand. I just like to get sort of get in their face, don't give them too much of a look at the goal and, um, you know, try and put them off. It's interesting that Bree thinks that she puts strikers off when they're coming up for a, to take a penalty, but little does she know we laugh that off and don't really take them too seriously. That's just a lie because it puts us off like anything. That's probably why I don't actually take penalties. Bree Davy, would this put you off? Claire Polkingholm with the captain's armband scored a spectacular header off the corner. Because she got up for a header. Yeah, that's what she does. She gets up for headers. Look up here for Polky's interview. Now I'm going to assume you saw that kick from Devana, that bicycle kick. It was amazing. It's, it's the best kick that I've ever seen her do. And to be honest, I've seen it attempt it a couple of times and it hasn't come off and I've, I've screamed at her for not passing it. For some crazy reason, if you haven't seen it already and you weren't one of those 500,000 people who clicked on the YouTube clip, click here. For putting it over her head like that, I'm pretty sure she could have brought it down on her chest and done the same, bottom left. Wouldn't have been as spectacular. There were top players around the world who enjoyed it just as much as you. The likes of Abby Wambach and Carly Lloyd were all tweeting about it. Get home, Rooney. I don't think we ever get an opportunity to go to Europe that often just as friendly internationals and just play the style of football that, you know, Europe bring. Um, it'll be really interesting to see how we go about that and um, with a new coach. So really exciting and looking forward to it. It would have been great experience, invaluable experience for the Matildas to play the Netherlands. It was an unfortunate loss for the girls, but I'm sure they'd take plenty out of that game. There are plenty of Aussies abroad at the moment as you see on the screen right now. Without the support of you guys, we wouldn't actually be able to get this up off the ground. So thank you to Clementine from France. That's not a name. Definitely not a name. Lisa Kelly, sounds like Alicia Keys, but probably not Alicia Keys, but thank you very much. And thank you, Jeremy Clark, who also bought this jersey. This happens to actually be the size we used to play in. This is the real jersey. Thank you to Cheryl Downs, you do so much work for the women's game, so thanks for the support. And Benita Merciades, uh, former FFA employee, thank you very much. A huge, huge thank you to Northwest, Northwest Sydney Women's Football. And a huge thank you to Northwest, and a huge thank you to North, North, Northwest. Okay. And a huge thank you to Northwest Sydney Women's Football Association. Go Koalas! A big thank you to all the fans out there that helped get this off the ground. If you'd like to like, share or subscribe down here or leave your comments, feel free.